They've certainly had to work hard to keep the tourists coming to this Beatle-themed hotel over the last few years, but now business is picking up again. February, I've just finished the figures for February, and we're looking at 80% occupancy, um, which is way higher than last year. Are there more British tourists? Yes, we've definitely seen a rise. If the British guests here are anything to go by, there are signs that some people are feeling more optimistic. They're spending again. Yeah, we've no problems. Yeah, we, we both earn pretty well, uh, decent money, so it's, uh, we don't have any problems with, uh, with disposable income at all. Initially, we didn't have the spare cash, um, but now I think there's a, there's a little bit more leeway. In the 60s, when the Beatles were in their heyday, Liverpool was still one of the world's great trading hubs. Today, the port is not quite the powerhouse it once was, but there's 300 million pounds of new investment in its facilities and exports are growing. Sales to North America have doubled since the worst of the recession. David Huck, the port's director, says this is the perfect place to track the UK's economic fortunes. These Range Rovers, for example, well, they're headed for America. The majority of the vessels arriving in, in, in Liverpool, particularly if you look at the containers, were, were actually arriving full and, and leaving really with a, a real low volume in terms of exported goods. We're now seeing that role reverse and we're seeing a number of products and services now exported out of the country. This factory making maritime safety equipment is just a mile away from the port. Turnover has been growing. Its boss says any future growth has to come from new export markets. The more we export, the better the UK economy will grow. Um, and I, I find it hugely important for us as a company. Um, we know that we still have territories in the world that we have yet to crack. Um, which is great news because we can actually see where we can fuel our growth going forward. This is a city built on a great trading history. Whether or not it can achieve anything like the same status in the future is a key test for Britain's recovery.